Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is going to be my first product review. Is it? Is it? I don't remember, but it's a product review of the August Curl Box. If it's not August, I don't know what month it was, but I think it was August. It's the Eden Body Works Hibiscus honey collection um like i said it's a curl box like i always do my curl box reviews and yeah we're just gonna hop right in as you can see these are my results i did a chunky twist out my hair is looking pretty good it's feeling really good let's just hop on in with the tea or whatever and i actually really did like this collection as a whole for the most part so starting off with the shampoo it's supposed to be a curl hydration shampoo. It has no mineral oils, no dyes, and it's cruelty free. Um, the first few ingredients are water. Lord Jesus. Um, not today. I'm not gonna do it today. I'm not gonna do it today. I'm I'm not gonna do it today. But it's <laughs> I'm not gonna do it today. I'm really not. Coca mydopropyl betanine, coca mydopropyl hydroxy sultane. Um, glycerin, sodium, laurel, sol, facetate. Don't come for me. Sodium, cocosyl, isothionate, hibiscus, flower extract, honey, aloe, citric acid, etc., etc., etc. So when I was applying this this shampoo, I didn't know what to expect but it honestly felt like a co-wash it definitely did feel like my hair was getting some hydration when i was applying it so i was actually really happy with this product when i rinsed it out my hair did not feel stripped it really did feel like a co-wash so that's my review on this shampoo i really don't have any complaints i think if your hair is more looser textured than mine or finer than mine you could probably even detangle with your fingers and a white tooth comb with that shampoo it actually is really really softening to the hair i went ahead and with the curl hydration conditioner first few ingredients are water alcohol sterile alcohol sterile alcohol shea butter coconut oil glycerin hibiscus flower extract and it is silicone free I really, really, really like this conditioner. It's definitely a light conditioner. It's not like a deep, deep treatment, but it left my hair feeling very soft. Um, what I will say is that I definitely had to pack it on, but my hair absorbed it. You guys can tell, well, if you don't know, I can tell when a conditioner really goes into my hair when it's not like sitting on top, just laying there. This definitely did get absorbed into my scalp. So with the shampoo and the conditioner, I had actually a very positive experience. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. I would use it again, I'll reach for it again, I'll leave it in my shower and grab it on occasion if I need to wash my hair and condition my hair. I have absolutely no complaints. I feel like you could definitely mix the conditioner with a hot oil or an oil and get you a really, really good deep treatment. No complaints on that front. My only complaint would be that this collection did not come with a leave-in conditioner and I am big on leave-ins. I usually detangle with leave-ins. The conditioner that I did use from this line is a great conditioner because it does have slip. So I was able to detangle parts of my hair to film it for you guys, but I like to detangle my hair while I'm twisting it because I feel like it just makes more sense for me and my style that way. Um, so no leave-in conditioner. I actually did message Eden Body Works and I asked them if I can use a conditioner as a leave-in because the instructions just say to apply on damp hair, concentrating on the mid shaft down to the ends. There's no mention of rinsing on this on the bottle. I just DM them on their Instagram. If you have questions about a product line, you can DM these brands, email these brands about an ingredient, about product, whatever, because they will respond most of the time. So I DM them, they replied to me the next day, so it kind of was too late, but I got an answer from them. They told me that I can use it as a leave-in. So what I did was I rinsed this conditioner out, but I left in a little bit. Like I didn't rinse it out thoroughly. So my hair would maintain some semblance of softness and some of the product would be left in. But I pretty much rinsed out like 80% of the conditioner. Then I went in with this product, which is the Hair Tonic. It's supposed to be a liquid vitamin. 
And the first few ingredients in this are water, glycerin, polysorbate 20, citric acid, hibiscus flower, extract honey, PG40, castor oil, etc. Now this was interesting because it did soften up my hair quite a bit. It's really not an oil. It's water-based. It's a water-based product. And then you have the glycerin. So if you live where I live, where it's super humid, glycerin and humidity isn't the best mix. But I just tried it out for the product. And really my hair does love glycerin. And I'm going to get frizz regardless. So I don't really be worried too much about that, um, to be honest. I'm not going to front with y'all. supposed to be able to transform dry, brittle, dull, lifeless hair with this high potency concentration of nutrients to make hair look more manageable and healthy. Um, yeah, it's a, a daily hairspray. It's really nothing crazy um, dramatic about it, but I sprayed my entire head with it and then I went in with the star of the show. So I definitely sectioned off my hair. I applied this liberally because I didn't have a cream leave-in. I applied it liberally all over my hair just to make sure that my hair had whatever it could in terms of moisture and softness. And I sectioned my hair off into four sections as you guys will see in the video. And I did chunky twists. Like I didn't do small twists by any stretch of the imagination. I did chunky twists because I am, I was tired, okay? I was tired though. So I did chunky twists and this product was bomb. This, I haven't tell you what it's called yet. I'm, I'm all over the place today. I'm just real hype right now. This product is the Curl, I can't talk. This product is the Hydration Custard. Now, my only complaint thus far with this product was that I had to use quite a bit. I feel like my hair drank it up. And maybe my hair was thirsty, but I definitely, and because I didn't have a leave-in leave-in, I could have used this conditioner as a leave-in, but I wasn't aware of it as I was doing my hair. Now you guys know the future reference. So I just used a bunch of this to smooth my hair down, detangle my hair. This had slipped, although I wouldn't recommend going in intentionally to use this as a detangler because it's very thick. Not very, very, very thick, but it's a thick product. I prefer a lighter, looser leave in on wet hair to help the brush glide through just my little tip whatever so this product did detangle my hair it smoothed my hair down completely and my hair was soft and my hair is very soft but it's soft yet defined for it to be a chunky twist out, I'm actually very surprised by the definition that I'm getting right now. And I actually really, really like it. I do feel like when I try this again, I would use it with the leave-in. I don't like the whole one styler thing because my hair gets dry fast. So I like to pack on the moisture on my wash day once a week. So definitely use your favorite leave-in or pair it with the conditioner of the line, which they say can be used as a leave-in. And I wish I would have done that. I probably would have an amazing, amazing twist out right now because my hair feels, and in my opinion, looks pretty good for it to be literally a one product twist out because this to me isn't a product this to me isn't going to do much in terms of definition um, maybe shine but I don't really hold it to that high regard just me personally I don't know what do you guys think it could just be my it's a water-based leave-in in my opinion is what I would literally call it with glycerin and some oils and vitamins it's not going to make your hair turn out crazy different. Some little bit of facts about this hydration custard would be that it's designed for thicker textures to lock in moisture, give definition, and it adds shine. So I would say it did both. My hair isn't the shiniest in the world. It could be, sh it has been and could be shinier, but we don't look bad. And again, it's a one product twist out. Y'all know, I don't hold nothing back. My last review on this brand, I kind of went ham because I was kind of upset. <laughs> right now, I'm pretty happy. I'm doing too much talking. The first few ingredients on this product are water, sterile alcohol, sterile alcohol, vegetable oil, um, coconut oil, shea butter, sterile esters, glyceryl dilorate, avocado oil, 
fragrance, hibiscus flower extract, honey, the list goes on. So I'm pretty much done. This curl box did come, my hair is looking kind of weird back here, hold on. When you get some length, the shape of your, I need to get my hair shaped up I think, because the shape of my hair is kind of getting wonky. Like look at that, it's just like, there we go. Let's act right back here guys. Let's, let's just, let's act a little bit like we have some home training. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, cool. That's better. Is it? Is it not? I'm almost done anyway, so don't look at my ends of my hair. I need to shape this up. I am on 10. The last thing that came in the box was the blow dry cream. I did not blow dry my hair, clearly, so I didn't try it out clearly um yeah so i can't really speak to it but curl box is bomb i always cape for them because i got five full size items for 20 bucks plus five dollar shipping so 25 dollars you really can't beat it it's a new collection i don't know i'd be really hyped because curl box come through with the deals they come through with the exclusives and i'm always just like hey well, curl box i don't have to buy anything else um in terms of like real hair products That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new here, subscribe. I hope that the footage was good enough. It kind of felt like a fast review, but I don't really have much else to say, to be honest. These are very simple, light ingredients, and I think that my hair definitely did love it. I wish I had a leave-in, but the definition that I got from these chunky twists is really not bad i'm i'm really feeling it what do you guys think let me know in the comment section if you tried the line if you didn't try the line if you have curl box all that stuff the shape of my hair is pissing me off <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe click the bell the comment down below your thoughts give me a thumbs up it helps me be seen helps me grow all that stuff yeah i'll see you guys in the next one I'm back with the product reviews and I'm feeling real lit or whatever and I'm feeling real lit or whatever.